James, it's been a wonderful night out here, and it looks like things are finally cooling off. The sun is going down, and we're about to uh, reach the final act of the night. The sun definitely didn't shy anybody away. The concert goers definitely didn't mind the heat, but they definitely are excited for the fact that this year the festival will be four days long. Two, three, one. Hinterland is back in St. Charles. This year the event is extended to four days, and music lovers are so happy to be back. And I would easily lose a kidney or a liver for this event. If you guys have a chance to come out to Hinterland, don't think about it, do it. Thousands are anticipated to make it out for the dozens of performers and the sweltering heat isn't shying anyone away. So I keep my water on me. Officials are encouraging everyone to stay hydrated as temperatures could hit the hundreds. It's always a, it's a big deal. You want to make sure you're hydrating with water, getting in the shade when you can, making sure you're staying cool. Lots of vendors could be seen lining the festival grounds and some of them were local like Pepper Haro Farms from Winterset. They're happy to be supporting an event right in their own backyard after a tornado in March tore through their farm. I am huge when it comes to community and the Midwest is known for that. So it means a lot to see all the support for all the local businesses out here. Hinterland will last until Sunday. With Thursday going smoothly, audience members are looking forward to a weekend of good music, good times and fun. I'm just looking forward to a weekend of music and everybody just loving each other. That's right. So Madison County, County Emergency Management is keeping their eye on a few storms that could be coming up this weekend. With that in mind, it's encouraged concert goers text Hinterland to 672-834 alerts and other uh, information about the music festival. Reporting live here at Hinterland, Lauren Johnson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.